Hello everybody and welcome to another Weston Automotive installation video. Today we'll be installing part number 24-54015, the platinum 4 inch oval wheel to wheel step bars on a 2015 Ford F-250 Super Duty. This part number will also fit 99 to 2014 vehicles as well. This install should take no more than an hour and requires no drilling. After we get the packaging opened up, go ahead and lay out all the contents of your kit. The tools needed for installation are a ratchet, torque wrench, 13 millimeter socket, 3 quarter inch socket, open end wrenches to match, and an allen key that's included. Now once we've got everything laid out, go ahead and compare to your install sheet to make sure that everything listed is present and free from damage. We will begin our installation on the driver's side of the vehicle. Locate the factory holes in the rocker panel and insert a nut clip through the square hole opening making sure the threaded portion of the nut clip fits securely over the round hole in the rocker panel. Now we can take our front mounting bracket and loosely attach it to the previously installed nut clip using the hardware supplied with your kit and then attach your bracket to the two lower holes in the rocker panel also using the hardware that's included with your kit. Leave all of these fasteners loosely attached as it will aid in alignment and adjustment of the step bars later, making installation easier. Now to install our rear mounting bracket is very similar to the front, except we'll be using two nut clips in the top round holes instead of one. Now once we have both nut clips installed into the rocker panel, we can then take our rear mounting bracket and using the hardware provided with our kit, loosely attach it to the nut clips and then also attach it to the two lower holes in the rocker panel using the hardware in your kit as well. Once all of these steps have been completed for the passenger side, we are now ready to install our step bar. With assistance, take your step bar and place it on top of the rear bracket and align it with the mounting location in the front bracket. Attach the step bar to the front bracket using the hardware provided in your kit and then move on to the rear of the step bar. But before we attach the step bar to the rear mounting brackets, we must first apply anti-seize to the hardware as it is stainless steel. The anti-seize will prevent this hardware from galling or seizing in the step bar once it has been torqued down. Now using the hardware that you just coated with anti-seize, go ahead and loosely attach the step bars to the rear mounting brackets. Once we have all the fasteners loosely attached, we can then align and adjust the step bar at this time to our liking. Once we have the step bar aligned and adjusted where we see fit, we can then begin to snug down all of the fasteners starting with the mounting brackets. Then using the included allen key, snug down the fasteners that are attaching the step bar to the mounting brackets. Now with all of our fasteners snug down, we can then begin the torquing process. The torquing process is in place to prevent all of the fasteners from being over tightened and also to prevent the fasteners from coming loose. Torque all M8 fasteners to 30 to 35 foot pounds and torque all half inch fasteners to 65 foot pounds. Once the torquing process has been completed, the installation is now finished. Thank you for watching the Weston Automotive installation video for part number 24-54015, our durable black powder coated platinum 4 inch oval wheel to wheel step bars for a 2015 Ford F-250 Super Duty. Weston Automotive also offers part number 24-54010, our polished stainless steel version for ultimate corrosion resistance. Please visit www.westonautomotive.com for any of your other aftermarket accessory needs.